Did Swiss franc digital swap mean anything to you? Nothing? Swiss franc. Digital swaps. Swiss franc digital swaps. It cost us 20 million euros, didn't it? Hookeswagen has been through plagues and wars, but it's never been in a pinch like this. The mayor doesn't quite understand how it came to this. He just knows he's got to get out of town. Hardly anyone understands it. And that's the root of the problem. Hookeswagen is a picture book Western German town of 16,000 people. Its mayor has always been popular, but now people are whispering and wondering if he gambled away much of the city's public funds. He shot craps with it. I'm sure it was done in good faith, but I also think he might have been a bit naive. It was a poker game. I know it was about currency fluctuations in Swiss francs and euros, and the rates have to stay inside a certain corridor, and if they move above or below it, things look bad for us. If they stay within the corridor, it looks better, but how it really works in detail, I don't know. What is plain to see is the red ink. The town was already in debt when the mayor tried a new kind of investment plan. The bank called it interest rate optimization. If the euro rose against the Swiss franc, Hokuswagen would profit. To Mayor Uwe Ufa, it sounded good. The Swiss franc digital swap. When we signed the contract, of course we asked if there were any risks for the town. The answer was no, there are no risks. Whenever the contract conditions turn negative for the town, we just make new contracts based on the current data. At first, the trend was just a bit negative. The bank adjusted the contracts as it said. It still didn't look at all speculative. We held regular meetings with the West LB State Bank. They always came on time and informed us that basically there was no cause for suspicion because after all, we could always keep modifying the contracts. Mayor Ufer's expertise is in public administration. He wanted state-of-the-art financial management. People of all parties voted for him. Then came the financial crisis. An auditor went over the books and warned there was a risk after all. And it was trending down. And it was out of proportion to the potential reward. The really big danger for us was that, theoretically, the losses could be unlimited. Of course, that's only mathematically the case. But you can see from how this curve was trending that the structuring of these derivative products was conceived from the start so the bank would never suffer any damage. Thousands of German town mayors fell for the investment scheme. Faith in the banks was shaken. It left deep scars. How many sleepless nights did you have? A half year's worth, I'm sure. You might say it crawls under the covers with you. 20 million euros went down the toilet, a fifth of the municipal budget. The mayor went to court to stop the contract. The court may or may not find that the bank failed to advise properly. The mayor is optimistic, though for now, all he's earned is scorn.